everybody, happy new year. I hope you guys had an awesome holiday season with your loved ones. Listen, I just wanted to jump on here and wish you guys the absolute best of 2020. I know that here at Reach Out Reptiles, we got a lot of big things planned. I can't wait until my babies start hatching again. You know, the sight of those little noses poking out of the eggs, it's gonna be crazy. First clutch is due to hatch on about two weeks. And then after that, they start rolling out heavy. I think I have eight clutches coming in February, so. I'm actually headed out to California. We're gonna check out uh, Rami's super show, but I wanted to leave you guys with this video until I see you there at the show. Uh, last week or a couple of weeks ago now, I guess, when I went up to Nebraska, I got to visit with my friends Lori and Brian Johnson along with their three boys who probably have one of the most insane reptile houses that I've ever seen. And it reminds me very much of what I was like in high school, but on steroids, because they got mom and dad helping this time. So check this out. I think you guys are gonna be amazed by this one. Johnson Sweet Reptiles. We got Brian and Lori and our three boys. I think you guys are gonna give us a little bit of a tour, right? This is this is their house. Are you looking at if I had been had a YouTube channel when I was in high school, I mean this is a bigger scale. This is more than I could have ever done, but I mean, look at look at this. You walk in the house, and there's like a huge display. You know, one of their rescue painting ones. It's crazy. It looks like it looks like Nebraska-style prehistoric pets with couches in it. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I recognize her. Little dwarf and super dwarf, golden child. Was she a 100% head snow or a pos head snow? 100%. 100%. That's pretty cool. I couldn't remember which clip she was running. Crazy stuff. So they got a few of the retakes. They got into the dwarf. Obviously, these are lizard people. Yes, Savannah Monitor. Yes, a giant tortoise. Why are look at this? And whatever the heck this thing is. If you know what that rabbit deer is, tell us in the comments below. I want to see how many of you guys are actual rabbit lovers. And that's a Lewis eye iguana in there. That is crazy. Who's this? I see just look at the little head in face. Uh, oh, is that a black roughneck? That's yeah. probably probably my favorite species of monitor. Actually, I think I don't know why. I just think it's so cool. It's a big retix. Everything obviously. Brian, you built all these cages, right? Uh, no, Lori. Lori built them. <laughs> oh, that's great. And this is Chaos. He's a big water monitor. Now you said you actually got this from my old buddy Chris Brown, right? Yeah. And Chris did a terrible job of taming it. He did. Wow. <laughs> he looks great now. It's amazing. It's cool. You can actually see the bloodlines. Like we worked with a ton of these when I was at Prehistoric Pets, oh, but they always had a, a thick blonde head. And this dude here got like looks like a raven, big pointy head. Pretty cool. Like a lot of the, those vital exotics. Obviously, Chris had different bloodlines, but now isn't this? You said this one's from Thai Park, right? The rhino. Oh, the Baker Eye were from Thai. So I mean, we've got water monitors from Vital Exotics. We've got iguanas and stuff from the Thai Park. Obviously, the uh, best dwarf and super dwarf crosses in the world. Well, you're not Just kidding. <laughs> but not not only are these, I mean, you guys have like rescue iguanas. You were showing us, this is your first snake, right? Mm -hmm. They still have their first snake. And you said he's probably 10 plus years old. Still got their first corn snake, so they got some of the common stuff, and then they have like top of the line. Don't you have, do you, you guys have an albino iguana too, right? Yes. With Tom Crutchfield, of course, Crutchfield line. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, this is pretty much what my high school and my bedroom looked like in high school. There was no room left for a bed anymore. Look at these enclosures. Get, get up here, check this out. That's awesome. Hey, all the, you got detail and painting the backgrounds. You got alligators. And Lori, you want to tell us why you have so many different species? What's the goal here? Uh, we would like to put together an educational donation only, open to the public, so that all the children can enjoy these beautiful creatures that we have. Which is great for this area because I can't imagine. I, now I know, like Omaha, actually has a pretty nice zoo. Yes. But I'm sure their reptile house has nothing on this. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Under dragon. So we're just trying to get as many species and much education out there. Just the variety. I don't know if you guys can see. There's something for everybody. I'm just amazed at how 
well cared for. Everything is like perfect body type and it's just amazing. You guys have the, the chameleon and frog and everything else from here? They've got Australian uh, frog dragons over there and New Guinea frogs and... Now, now this room, this room it looks like we could have some more reptiles. It, yes, I just, just tell him Brian that. And we'll take over the kitchen. Yep. <laughs> and then it'll be done. <laughs> Obviously, this is probably you know, the original reptile room right here. Yes. That's how you know. Old poster on the door. So, hey, look at this stuff, guys. I mean, this is awesome. Well, now, what kind is this? This is one of the spiny tails? This is, oh, this is the panda pied. So you got panda pieds. And then, didn't you say you had the, uh, they have the banana yellows and the blues in those? Yeah, we don't have them yet, though. Yeah. We will. So this is the panda variety. And they got another, I don't even know what species. Do you guys know what species of uh, spiny tail yes. that is? Have them guess. Yeah, guess below. Oh, that's a blue one. I thought yeah. maybe it was a basilisk for a second. Those are something like that. Yes, we have geckos in here. Oh, you guys got to show them. Oh, sorry, buddy. Look at this. <laughs> she was saying, like, actually, like, let them out and cruise around and stuff like that. So, obviously, you guys have done a little bit of breeding here. A little bit. Leopard geckos and stuff. But I wanted to show, so I don't know if you guys, if you haven't seen it, you gotta go back and watch my herping trip to Phoenix, where we actually caught a wild morph uh, of reptile. And I won't tell you what that is, but you can go back, check the video out. It should be right here. But you guys actually have a wild native to Nebraska morph. Maybe new morph? I don't know. Can you show us this? The garter snake? Yeah, are we allowed to see that? Is that top sure. secret? I got to edit it out now. So, I mean, I know there's albino garter snakes, and these are plains garters, right? Yes, I believe so. Look at that. I don't know how well you can. Woo! I don't know how well they're <laughs> gonna be able to see this guy. Yeah, I'm here, dude. It looks looks very different from like I, I don't know if you can see it, but there's it's a lavender color on the background. And look at that crazy, nice orange stripe down there. Bone white head, but it's a very some kind of like a tea paws albino. Can you see how it looks like a purple retic? And what was the story? You said somebody said they a had little, them in the yard. Little girl finds having, them all the time. Finds right. albinos all the time. We're not telling you where. No. Top secret location. And you paid 20 bucks for it. Paid 20 bucks for it. $20. Little girl, if you're watching this video, I'll pay you for it. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty cool. They got a panther chameleon in here. Yes. I mean, have you guys seen a house? I and mean, this is like, so obviously you're building towards a zoo and there's yeah. intentionality to it. But I, I told Lori, I said, I think this is the craziest reptile house I've ever been in. And that's saying a lot because I, yes. I've had some crazy reptile houses that I lived in before. What's your guys' favorite part? What do you think about all this? Mm. Now you're like the main man, right? You're, yep. you're the, uh, the caretaker over here. This is the Aiden of Nebraska. Oh <laughs> but what do you think? Are you big? Are you big? Yeah. What do you guys think? Growing up with this many reptiles. Is it? Great. Yeah? Is there anything bad about it? No. Not at all. You know, maybe the poo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean you guys have you guys have done such a, a spectacular job with and I love it because it's like it's old school, you know, you have like entertainment systems that are converted into reptile cages, which is the way I used to do it when I was a kid. But you can look at the animals and like, mentally and physically, they're all like top notch. I mean, it's insane. Do you guys realize how insane you are? <laughs> yeah, enough people tell you you're crazy. You start to believe it, I guess. Yes. For the record, I just think you guys are all crazy and we are the normal ones. What do you right. guys think? Yeah. Sounds right yeah. to me. The new normal. <laughs> the new normal. <laughs> It would be if I had anything to do with it. <laughs> That's very cool. Well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you having me over and showing everything. Thank you. That is so cool. What a crazy place. <laughs>